So let's step into the second chakra, sacral or navel chakra, positive pole or giving mode in the female body. Here we go, fellas. Negative pole or receiving uh, mode in male body. The second chakra in the male body is in the receiving mode due to its negative pole. Let me touch on that. When we, when we say negative, this doesn't this isn't a, a bad connotation. That's not what we're saying. Uh, you know, we got protons and neutrons, um, and so we're talking about energy receiving and 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 giving. Uh, but it's not it's not a bad thing when we say negative. The same is in the giving mode in the female's body, as it has a positive mode or positive pole. The second chakra is the center of all emotions in a body and that's why a female is more emotionally charged than a male to understand this better read this instance often we may notice that women develop feelings and lots of emotions after making love with their partners due to the sexual intercourse the male penetrates with his lingam his positive pole to yoni the negative pole of female then after some time, the energy reaches the second chakra, which is the positive pole of a female. And that's how, after lovemaking, deep emotions get activated in a woman's body. Wow, wow, wow. So, wow, that's, that's heavy. Um, but at the same time, because the man's pole on the second chakra is the negative the minus it drains it ten, after that act it tends to drain his emotions so he just feels like blah <laughs> do you notice right, <laughs> right. Oh, he fall, oh, he falls asleep <laughs> yeah exactly and that's because and, and see this is just like like the batteries the positive and negative every chakra lines up that way so if yeah. we if we don't understand this, we're we're gonna not figure out what's wrong. Oh, I'm, I must be something wrong. No, there's nothing wrong. We have to accept ourselves who we are. We have to realize we're not messing up. Right. Everybody's like, oh, we're messing up. No, you're not messing up. Yeah, you're learning. Right. Yeah. yeah, you're learning. That needs to be man. That needs to be pushed out there and broadcasted more. That we're not messing up, man. We're we're learning. Uh, right. We'll, we'll get it right eventually. You know, we don't have to do it all. And, and, you know, you know, back to that about, you know, I've seen that like with my brothers, you know, I, I was there with them, you know, through their dating experience, their, their experiences where they were going to get married and a girl would reject them or this and that. And I had to keep reminding them, you know, no, you didn't mess up. You didn't mess up. And the thing is, is the, the feminine chakras, the way they are, it's going to activate those chakras. If, if, okay, let's say, let's say um, my brother, for example, you know, he was rejected a couple times by a girl that he really liked. Okay. But what he didn't realize, he's like, oh, I just messed up. You know, I'm going to go into depression type thing. What he didn't realize is that what actually was happening was the polarity of those chakras wasn't in sync yet. Maybe hers didn't have the right amount of charge versus his. But if he would persevere, it would correct itself. That's wow. what I think, what I believe, and I'm just saying this from observation from my own. If a man perseveres, it's healing. It's the healing cycle between those two chakras. And I think I don't think re, I would say this rejection doesn't even exist. And guys, guys would go what? But it doesn't exist. It's simply trying. It's you've got to figure out how to polarize the chakras. It's not rejection. It's just imbalance between the two chakras. Right, right. So this is <clears throat> I've heard throughout the years that if if a man approaches a woman and she turns him down, she says she's not interested. If he's persistent, she will eventually give in to a date. <laughs> is this is this true? Well, if he's doing his work, okay. here's the thing. If she's not interested, remember a woman is very intuitive and she can feel how in sync he is. 
And if her heart is not, if, if nothing he has done or showed does anything to ping the heart chakra, there's nothing in sync. Now, let's say he sits back and goes, okay, under, in understanding this polarization, he goes, okay, what can I do to strengthen my chakras, the male chakras on him, that every other chakra is male? Right. What am I doing to strengthen those male chakras to ping the opposing energy like a battery? Look at a battery. When it's running out, you turn your flashlight on, it's running out. That's what's happening. It's, right. it's a weak battery. So I believe that the only reason that happens is, and he may be attracted to her because he sees strengths in the opposing chakras. But if his chakra isn't as strong as her opposing chakra, there is going to be a little disconnect. But that can be corrected again. You know, yeah. I see, I've seen my brothers, I've seen, I've seen, you know, guys get hurt so bad and, and, you know, saying, oh, you know, this woman is so cruel. No, it's just a misunderstanding. No, there's, I don't believe there's anything, such thing as rejection. Wow. Rejection wow. is simply an idea that we have misconstrued, you know, believing that, oh, we were rejected and it, it's something wrong with us. No, there's nothing wrong with us. We just have to balance the poles and yeah so it's more of a misfire you think right right yeah okay 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 i can see that okay wow and there's a there's a there's a website called chakra boosters.com this is pretty intriguing because if you have a weak chakra let's just say the male has you know maybe he has a hard time speaking that's a male chakra if he has a hard time approaching her and saying what he what he really thinks or feels, that's weak. He can actually purchase the chakraboosters.com actually made these these chakra tattoos. They're temporary tattoos that you stick on a chakra. Now, what's really interesting is where you place them. They tell you where to place them to open that chakra. It's got the color. It's got the symbolism and the vibration that that chakra needs to be, become stronger. Literally, when you place it on a chakra, you will see how weak or how strong that chakra is. If it's strong, that temporary tattoo lasts for quite a while. If it's weak, it will literally melt off. You're like your body absorbs that. Wow. It is incredible. That's wow. that's a tool that incredible. I've seen a number of people use, especially if they're stuck and like like can't move forward in business or something. Generally, right. that's your solar plexus chakra for your for business and things like that. And wow. so, you know, we have we have tons of tools in 2022 that, you know, we can overcome these things. We don't need to be stuck in this mode of, and rejection is a harsh, it's a harsh thing to have stored in your body. It's a trauma, but again, right. it's a belief system. If you believe you were rejected, it's going to plant itself in certain areas of your body, causing a dis-ease in that area because you felt rejected. Yeah. It's all about perspective. Um, it's all about what you tell yourself, right? It, it is, the brain is amazing. Like, if you get rejected by a woman or a job or, or anything, uh, any situation, instead of saying you you were not good enough, you know, that's that could take you down, <clears throat> depending on how you're built. But if you say they're missing out on a good thing, man, that has a whole different perspective and it, it it changes how you perceive yourself in in your entire body. Yeah. And it should be it should be instead of it taking us down, it sh we should use it as a springboard to strengthen the things that are weak. That's to yeah. strengthen things that need to be strengthened and to to become better, to yeah. grow. You know. Yeah, it's okay to say I'm weak in this area, and not let it take you down. Work on it. Uh, exactly. Nobody not. There's not one of us that can be strong in all areas. It's impossible. That's why we need each other. We cannot be strong in all areas.